on that. But um, I couldn't beat the Goron Racetrack. Like, that was always something I had trouble really? with as a kid. And I was, I've was i started playing Majora's Mask 3D right now. Mm -hmm. And I got to that point, And I was like, I got to get this sword. And I lost three times in a row. And I was oh like, this sucks. <laughs> like, this is the, <laughs> the worst part. Win. This is the worst part of any Zelda <laughs> game, not counting the... Uh, the most of Phantom Hourglass, like the the Gosh, dude. that part, the Temple of the Ocean King, worst thing on the planet. Actually, I only played Phantom Hourglass like in bits and pieces. What's that? Yeah, where it's like it's time based, and it's like every time you walk outside of this thing, like you run out of time. And yeah, it's isn't that like the main mechanic of the game. Yeah, it's the the Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> yeah, so bad. Yeah, um, which is too bad because like I liked the touch Zelda whatever. Play Spirit Tracks? Yeah, I like that game. I like Wind Waker. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was a different... They're not the same game. Like this, They have the same art style, but they're also very different. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on. <laughs> Here's the thing with Goron Racetrack. I was like... You know, if I put on headphones and I blast City Escape, will I win? Whoa. Blew those other Gorons away. Oh. First try. Yeah, so that's <laughs> that is the secret. I love Gorons. That's I love those motherfuckers. They're great, Gorons yeah, cool. and they sound like that. <laughs> like I, I like whoever commits genocide upon the Gorons. I hope you suffer. Like Ganondorf. I don't think anyone does do that. Ganondorf might try, uh, but I don't want Ganondorf. I, I like think Ganondorf a lot. Genocide in the Legend of Zelda, which is a shame. I don't know, maybe in Breath of the Wild. I haven't played it. Oh. So. Do you know anything about, like, the lore? Nope. Because it's, like, sort of post-apocalyptic, but, like, not exactly. Okay. So, it could have been genocide. I don't know. Probably. I mean, if there's still people hanging in there, I don't know how yeah. successful it was. But. It's, a, it's a very good game. I mean, I gotta I get a Switch. recommend it. Yeah. Do you have like, a Wii U? I do not. Yeah. So am I really going to buy a Wii U just for... No, <laughs> don't do that. Just yeah. buy a Switch instead. I'll buy a Switch for my son. But a lot of people, you know, they have the Wii U because uh, it's Smash 4 or whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's why I have one. <laughs> what a shame that I ended up not playing that game. Yeah. Or a non-shame. I'm kind of glad, like, I'm still playing... Not even still playing, but, like... The the last game that I invested any amount of time into was a like seventeen eighteen year old children's party game. So it was like I I, I dodged the era of games are now sixty seventy bucks. True, true. I and they're like I've, a bunch of games now that are like you must yeah. play. But like I I still play a lot of video games and I've kind of dodged that era because I just don't I just don't buy those ones. Like, yeah, just wait. Like, The Witcher 3 came out, like, three years ago. Yeah. And it was $60, and I was like, I don't want to pay that much money. Sure, yeah. And so three years later, I bought it for $20 because who cares? I don't want to, like, I don't know if I can physically get, like, super invested into a game anymore. Like, the way that I used to. Like, when I was a kid, I talked to every NPC. Like, I wanted the whole story, you yeah. know, go everywhere. Now it's like, I'm playing Majora's Mask right now, and I'm like, all right, day one. We're going to go here, we're going to go here, we're going to get this, get this. And it's like, I will say, my, and I, I have a few friends who kind of experience the same thing. Going back and playing Zelda, my Zelda IQ is too high. Where it's like it's no longer a challenge. You walk into the room and you know exactly what it wants you to do. Because it's good game design, I mean, right? Yeah, where it's like, <laughs> go here, do this. That? Well, when I was a kid, like the, one of the fun things about Majora's Mask is like, where do I go? You know? I, you honestly, gotta talk to people. Even as a kid, I didn't really like that. I was just like, I want to know where to go. I don't want to do the thing. <laughs> like, I don't want to have to use my brain. That's understandable. That's that's why I play melee. <laughs> I'm uh, here's the thing about melee. I do not know what to do. Me either. I was very proud of against that Samus. I figured out that he was just like he was waiting me for he was waiting for me to wave dash in F smash or wave dash and grab, and then he would wait and punish that. And he would, like, move back every time I wave dash in. So I would just wave dash twice, yep. and I would catch him. And I was so happy that I, like, caught <laughs> yeah. that. I was like, this is, like, adaptation. Yeah, this, this is how you're supposed <laughs> to play. It's, like, this is crazy. Do. But then, like, when it mattered, and I was like, I should do this. I didn't. I was like, no. <laughs> One of these F smashes on shield will work. <laughs> did you, uh, did you 
lose that set. I, I lost that set. But I was the winner in everyone's hard, yeah. so. I should have won. I was up, like, two stocks comfortably. But, man, what are you going to do? Yeah. I, I would also like to say it was, in fact, on Dreamland against a Samus. So yeah, I don't, know, you, it's like, yeah. I don't know how you ended up there. I banned FD because... I that's struggle more. I needed platforms was the thing. That's, and I was worried he'd be. <laughs> that's not what Ice Climbers do. Yeah, I know. But, like, <laughs> against Samus, it's like I got to hide. Because otherwise he'll missile, and then that's I haven't fair, learned fair. the game to that point. <laughs> I don't know what to do against that. Yeah. That's fair. I'm also there. So I was worried if I banned Dreamland, he would go to FT. Because I didn't want to bank on him being like, oh, Ice Climbers. Like, yeah. What? <laughs> As if they have to. <laughs> You're highly contented by all the other matches yeah. that have to happen. All these other guys. This guy over here, he wants to play on stream. Yes. Does he? I don't know. Uh, none of the Smash, every time I've like tried to interact with a Smash 4 person, they've refused openly. Not even openly, they have done nothing. <laughs> that's, uh, They're all just that's NPCs. That's the nature of where you are. <laughs> They're all just NPCs <laughs> and you're too old to care about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just run right by him. I was like, where, do I, where to next? I know right where to go. I'm going to my set. Yeah. <laughs> I know all the NPCs that I like. Yeah. <laughs> my friends, the yeah. important characters. I don't have time for these other <laughs> I tell you that, I told you, did I tell you that every time I play Majora's Mask, I help the guy raise his chickens to completion? Yeah, I mean, you have to to get the, the bunny mask, hood, right? The bunny yeah, hood, yeah. yeah. You got but it. anytime, if it's the third day, I will go there and I'll, like... Oh, like, like yeah. many times throughout the day? Because the tragic thing about the game is, like, you will help these people, you'll solve their problems, they're happy before they die. But that's only in that timeline. You hop over to a different timeline every time you go back. But Every the, timeline I've but, ever played, those chickens grow up. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is that through some kind of, you know... Hollywood magic at the end of the game like they're all fixed anyways yeah, yeah. It's ever, like all of your good timelines have just like come together yeah you know and that's the beautiful thing except for uh, the butler he's still kind of good dude screwed. yeah that's the thing that game is so sad yeah no the game first time so I played sad. that and they, they cut to the scene at the end which one spoilers are you talking about the the log yeah the butler crying over the log oh yeah yeah, yeah. I was like dude you know what? This game's the best game it's ever made. <laughs> the last shot of the game is the one that messed me up, and I'm not going to spoil it. Isn't that that's it's the, in the last shot? No. You see that, and then we're going in back to the woods where we came, and then you see the... You like... I don't want to spoil it for all, all seven. <laughs> Beat Majora's Mask. <laughs> hey, you it has emotional payoff. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what you're talking about. It's uh, it Here, take off your mic. Hold on a second. 